How are you guys doing? We're good, thank you. Good, thanks, Jose. Cool. Um, so let me start with uh, Vernon. How did this part come about for you? Uh, uh, um, uh, my manager knew a guy named Joe, and he um, he vouched for me, and he sent my my reel over to Joe, and Joe um, approved me. He said he he would take me for the role of Randoku. Okay, cool. Doesn't everybody know a guy named Joe? <laughs> a, guy <laughs> named, a guy named Joe who's actually one of the producers on the film. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, and George, what about you? How did you become director of this film? Um, well, I, I, uh, one of the producers, both, uh, well, actually all the producers were friends of mine. Um, and, uh, they approached me because I'd done other work with them. And it, it is not, as I said, uh, in another interview, it is not anything I'm known for, right. uh, cause my, I wrote Midnight Run and Bad sure. Boys and directed a bunch of comedies and, uh, more lighthearted fare. They asked me, I think out of a courtesy, did I want to do this? And I read it and I said, no, I don't want to do this because <laughs> I just take my work with me. And uh, I said, this is not a space I want to live in. And I'm being honest. I just said, no, 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 no. I just, uh, I don't want to do it. But then I did start to think a little bit. And I was, I'm a big fan of the William, of William Friedkin's work, mm -hmm. which is, you know, obviously French Connection, Cruising, uh, Sorcerer. And they're, they're amazing movies uh, and they do something that not a lot of Hollywood movies do. They have a way of drawing you in. So I know Billy. So I called him and I asked Billy for some pointers and he gave me uh, he gave me a way to look at it, a look into the material. And then I said, huh, that's interesting. I'm, I'm, I want to stretch. Let me give this a, a shot. And then at one other point, I almost said no, I almost backed off. And then Morgan Freeman called me a terrible name. <laughs> and which I will not say, and said he said, "Don't be a blank, make the movie." And I went, "Okay, you got it, Morgan." So that's how that <laughs> happened. That's funny. So, what made you decide to go from writing to directing? Well, I've directed a lot of movies now. I mean, originally, what made I studied as yeah. a, as an artist. I was a painter. You know, uh, before I was even a writer, I went to art school. That's really what I wanted to be. I saw myself as this sort of bohemian painter type of guy and then somehow I got drawn into movies and I took a hand at writing screenplays and then I got very lucky I sold them I knew nobody in Hollywood uh I just knocked around did my best and then because of painting I figured well I'm visually oriented so let me let, let me see if I could apply the what I learned in art school you know plus drama you know learning how to write and, and, and translating that into film Wow. Okay. Um, Vernon, uh, I have to say your accent in the movie sounds great. Uh, did you have to work hard on that or did they have a coach, someone to help you with it? Yeah, I found I had a, I have a dialect coach that I, that I use for other films. And I, I reached out to this girl in South Africa on Instagram. I DM'd her and I asked her, I said, Hey, my name is Vernon Davis. Uh, would you mind helping me with the translation of this? And she did. Uh, that was pretty awesome. And I just kept practicing. Okay. Well, it's, it sounds authentic. Oh, thank you. He's um, a wonderful actor. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I have to tell you, he, he really truly is. He, uh, uh, I have nothing but great things to say about you, Vernon. Personally, as a, as a person, you. you're a great guy and you're fun to hang around with, but you're also a terrific actor and you, 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 uh, mm -hmm. you really, uh, you embody you can see you can you're gonna have a long career my friend as an actor so mm -hmm. thank you you got it in fact i've got a part for you in another movie i'm going to talk to you about oh let's go <laughs> i got it. again wow. i actually wrote it i actually wrote it for you oh that'd be dope oh that's dope. yeah yeah i did yeah so. that's dope well it definitely okay. trans definitely you have a lot of charisma and uh not only as as the uh villain but in that one scene, we seen in the bar where you're trying to charm that girl came over as very smooth and and charming. So it, yeah, that showed your range definitely. Oh, thank you, I appreciate. It. And at, at the beginning of this movie, when you're escaping from tons of people chasing you and you're just pushing everybody out of the way, did that did that give you NFL flashbacks? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> NFL NFL flashbacks. Um, the running, the running maybe, but all the tactical stuff is it's truly an art i mean you they don't teach that when playing ball it is something that you have to really put time into and we did we were rehearsing we were going through rehearsal with the moves and 
because you know you want to be big with with your punches so it comes across real, realistic on film on uh, on the actual film but yeah it's a, you know you just put the work in you learn and you put the work in and it, it was just a it was a wonderful journey and uh, did you do all your own stunts or did, did somebody else do some or? A uh, combination. I mm -hmm. did some of the stuff. He cool. did, I'd say about 99% of it. Really? Great. Yeah, the thing where he jumps off the thing and goes down the pipe and runs across the thing, you know, because I remember the stunt guy saying, oh, no, no, Vernon, don't do this. You're going <laughs> to, if, if you hurt your ankle or something or you hurt your, you hurt your knee, we're going to be, you know, in trouble. But before we knew it, Vernon was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> now that was fun. Now that reminded me of football. Now that part right there, <laughs> using my body, yeah. Athletic system, the athletic system kicked in. <laughs> right. And uh, George, um, which is more difficult, would you say, writing or directing? And would you ever try to do both at the same, sort of the same film? I've done, I've written and directed movies. Uh, you know, you have to wear different hats. Writing, look, what I always say about, especially when you're making movies independently and you're making them, you know, a more of a budget. Uh, I don't, you know, I haven't had a, a hundred day shooting schedule, you know? Uh, so when you have a bad day writing, you can crumple it up and throw it away. And, uh, but you, you can't really have a bad day directing. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to shoot a movie in 24 days, 25 days, uh, you, you're stuck with what you shot. So, you have to be on the ball in a way directing where as a writer, you can experiment and you read it the next morning and you go, Oh, that's awful. And <laughs> nobody has to know whatever happened, you know? Yeah. And you can, you can put it aside and come back to it later. And yes, but directing it's like, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. You're going to get this right in the next hour or else. <laughs> so there's a and, lot of pressure on you. And is, is there like a separate person that does all the editing or is, do, do you as a director do most of that? I, you know, I work with various editors. I, I talk to the editor the same way I talk to a cameraman. I tell them at length what I'm trying to go for. And then I, I you know, obviously I let them do it. We collaborate. But with the editor, I mean, I, I definitely sit in the cutting room. I mean, uh, but a lot of times I'll let the editor take his first pass. I'll give him notes, second pass. And then at the end, we'll work on it together all the way through. I mean, I, I, I always think it's a little ridiculous to hire very talented people and then tell them what to do. That makes like right. no sense. <laughs> like let them do their thing and then you can make an adjustment if necessary. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're good at delegating. That's, that's smart. <laughs> I, I think you have to delegate as a director. Yeah. Uh, you'd burn out if you didn't, I think. <laughs> um, so uh, what was but like for both of you acting with and directing uh, Morgan Freeman? You can ask Vernon that first. <laughs> well, Morgan, Morgan was amazing. He's truly amazing. He's like a kid when he's on set. He's always, he's so playful. But the thing that intrigued me is how he was the first one on set, last one to leave. And I remember him having a debate with George trying to really understand a particular scene. And when I saw that, I was like, wow, this guy's 80, 80 something years old. And he's sitting here trying to really have a, an understanding of what the director wants. It was it was unbelievable because you don't see that. You know, I've I've done a few films now and I've worked with some some big guys and and I've never seen that. But for him to do that is really, really inspiring. But he's a he's a beautiful human being. He also he gave me some tips. Yeah, he's he's amazing. Amazing. Good. And uh George, what do you I mean my, I get to, you know, again, we, we don't have that much time. I, I know Morgan very well and I know specifically what Vernon is talking about. I and Morgan is very aware of the movie that he's in and he wants to know why he's doing everything. And, uh, uh, and he got into a discussion with me and I really listened to him. And at the end of like 15 minutes, I knew he was right. So I just said, you know what, you're right. Let's do it your way. Cause your way's better. And that's, that's really what happened. That was near the end of the movie. Uh, um, because he's also very, very logical. So it's, it's, uh, Sometimes as a director, you get these ideas in your head, like visually you want to do something, but they're somewhat illogical. And you, you work with good actors like Morgan, they'll, 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 they'll straighten you out rather quickly. And uh, is there anything that uh, either of you would like to tell us about the movie or people who might want to see it? 
Uh, Vernon, you could. Uh... Um, I just say I, I'd say is uh, this movie gives a lot of perspective. I think it's a really good, really good story. Well written, um, beautiful cast. And it's, uh, it's a lot of excitement. I think people who who are really into to movies, I think they'll really like this one. Um, I encourage everyone to to see it because it is a thrill. Jordan? Yeah, and for me, look, it's 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 a uh, it's an unfiltered look at something, and it's not like I say, it's not particularly pretty. But I think I I, I to me, it's a throwback to a kind of movie that Hollywood doesn't quite make, you know, uh, right now. It's it's not a glossy thriller. It's a very dark, in your face, 95 minutes. Uh, I think you'll walk away saying, wow, that was, hopefully you'll say, wow, that was great. And I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the scene at the end, which I won't mention, you know, this is not my kind of movie and I enjoyed it. It was a little gory for yeah. me, but uh, at the end, and I was sitting all by myself in my living room, my husband was in, in bed. And at the final scene, I'm going, no, why would you do that? <laughs> I did yeah. that out to myself. I have to tell you, that was speaking of that, that was Cole Hauser's idea. Really? Wow. Yeah, because that was not in the script. Okay. And uh, he comes out of the he comes across the lawn. We were shooting in that house, and he goes, he goes, George, I, I've got an idea. And we were just getting to know each other, you know what I mean? Because you he goes, George, I've got an idea. It's 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 really sick. <laughs> and I don't want you to think less of me for having bright, but dude, just tell me what it is. And then he told me and I went, oh, that's going in the movie. So, yeah. <laughs> it was a good ending. That's for sure. Thanks. Yeah. Well, thank Cole Hauser. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And I hope it does really well. And I appreciate your talking to me today. Thank you so thank much. You. Thanks, Suzanne. Thank you. And, and uh, Vernon, don't forget the little people when you become big, rich, famous, <laughs> like he says that you're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>